Hello, my name is Joe, and welcome to my channel. So, Volume 8 was just a big win for Salem. <laughs> she may have lost a few of her employees, but she also gained 50% of her ultimate goal. Cool. <laughs> Plus, while the lamp's last question has been used, the staff is ready and raring to go. So, I decided to take today to think about what Salem might do with this great power. Cause, you know, that's fun. That's fun stuff to think about. <laughs> now, from what we've seen so far, the staff is just... super OP. <laughs> sure, it has a limit that only one thing it's been asked to create can exist at a time, but really, if you have the right request, what more do you need? Honestly, Salem could just say, Hey, Ambrosius, create a million swords and have them rain down over Vacuo. Then just do that repeatedly until everyone is dead. It'd be tedious, but Salem has literally all the time in the world. But if we're being realistic, she probably won't do that. Why? Be because there, there needs to be a show. You know, so, so, so they probably wouldn't do something like that that would just end the show right there. <laughs> so, let's get into what are some slightly realistic expectations for what Salem could create. Now, this is actually a bit easier to think of than you might imagine. Ambrosius needs someone to explain to him how to create what they want created. While Sam was very old, she probably hasn't spent that much time studying how every new piece of technology is being created. And now that Watts is gone, she won't be able to rely on tech so much. Instead, she'll go back to what she always has. Grim. Now, we know that Salem can create Grim, or at least alter them. And since there are plenty of real samples for Ambrosius to examine, I think that he'd be able to create Grim really easily. The question is what kind of Grim? Now, the first choice one might think of is to just use it to replenish Salem's armies. Just create a ton of Grim in one moment and have them at the ready. But I doubt this is the direction Salem is going. Grim are really a dime a dozen. Salem can get plenty of them no problem. Hell, even Big Grim can spawn more Little Grim. Sure, it might take a bit more time, but as we've established, Salem has all the time in the world. Also, there's kind of a question of if Ambrosius can create multiple things as part of a single request, as long as they are all essentially the same. I think he probably could, but we don't really know for sure. The next option would be to have her create something like a new Grim Whale, another moving fortress that she could use to invade Vacuo instead of needing to take the time to fully create another. I think this is more likely, but still not the direction she'll go. Having another fortress when the first one was already burglarized and then destroyed by her greatest enemies doesn't seem like the smartest choice overall. Plus, it would leave the option for someone to get the staff and just make her entire base of operations disappear. Putting too many eggs in one basket, one might say. Now, that leaves two options, really. Another Grim like the Hound, or another Colossal Grim like the Wyvern or the Leviathan. But which one? I think both. Here's how I picture it. It's the end of Volume 9. Our heroes have just escaped from whatever plane of existence they were on and reunited with their friends. Finally, after what feels like so long, our heroes get a win. Credits roll before we cut to our post-credits scene taking place in Salem's castle. Salem is there, holding the staff and examining a grim very similar to the Hound, part of its face peeled back to show a silver-eyed warrior on the inside. We see behind her, Ambrosius is floating. He grimaces and his fists clench as he watches the remains of a previous hound he had made fade away with the creation of the one Salem is examining. Salem would hum in approval and say that she is satisfied with his work, and that they would move on to something a bit more... intimidating. Ambrosius would disappear as Salem walks into a dungeon. 
We would watch from inside a cell as Salem approaches, us unable to see the occupants. Salem would tell whoever was in the cell that they are about to become part of something much greater than what they are. We'd cut to the people in the cell, a group of dirty and malnourished Silveride warriors, with Summer sitting in the center. The next we see of this would be a bit down the line, where our heroes would be confronted by a giant, wolf-like Grimm, which had both the strength of a colossal Grimm and the intelligence and adaptability of the Hound. Ruby would be swallowed, and within the beast's belly, she would be confronted with the several silver-eyed warriors used to make this Grimm, including her mother. I think it would make a lot of sense if it went in this direction. I mean, Salem's gotta start stepping up her game with the Grimm to be a threat to our heroes, since they're gonna be getting quite a few upgrades as time goes by. I mean, the heroes have a maiden with one of the most powerful and versatile semblances in the entire show, as well as the Summer Maiden. Oscar's gonna start unlocking more of his magic soon, Ruby's probably gonna start learning to master her silver eyes, and someone is going to get the Relic of Destruction eventually and I feel like it'll be one of our heroes. With all of that, what other threat are they gonna face? Tyrion, Cinder, Mercury? Nah, we gotta start going Shadow of Colossus in here. I also think it'd make sense narratively with some of our fairy tale inspirations. The giant wolf Grimm having a dual inspiration in this case, one being the big bad wolf, and thus eating Little Red Riding Hood, and the second being Fenrir, being the wolf that ate Odin in Norse mythology before being killed by Odin's son. If Summer and the rest of the Silveride warriors are designed in the same way as the Hounds was, they'd likely be missing one of their eyes. That would make a decent connection to Odin, with Odin's child, in this circumstance Ruby, being the one to finally slay the beast and free her mother from the torment. Salem has put her under. Also, I, 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 just, I just think it'd be cool to have our heroes actually fight one of those giant Grimm instead of just petrifying it or having a giant mech destroy it. I, I just, I just want to see a cool fight like that. <laughs> but hey, those are just my thoughts. What do you think? Agree? Disagree? Think Ruby is going to need even more therapy than she already does if this turns out to actually happen? Let me know in the comments below. And, you know, subscribe. I'm trying to do a video every week or so, so you might find something you like. Till next time, safe journeys, my friends.